What's happening, KJ Mob? It's your girl Kelly J. Back in the cuts once again with another video. Another video. Another video. Another video. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. But, anyways, y'all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm back and better than ever. So, guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm so extra sorry. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos by your girl. And today is going to be a little bit of new makeup products that I got. So let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So I got, I got this stuff right in front of me. Okay, so I already primed my face and I did my eyebrows and everything off camera so we could save time. So I don't want this video to be super duper long. All right, so I have my new makeup brushes in here. My new makeup brushes that I'm gonna use today. Full face of using my makeup brushes. Okay, so we are going to be testing out the new, well, it's not that new, but I'm late to the game, you know. This is my first Juvia's Place palette. It is the Berries palette. Um, Ulta was so picked over it. A lot of products were gone. Um, it wasn't my choice. Either it was this one or the purple one. And I don't really do purple. So I was like, I'll just do the Berry ones because it's pink. It's like a mix of pink and purple. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. So pretty. Like, look at these colors. They got two shimmers and four matte. So, yeah, um, it's just saying, like, it's highly pigmented and everything. So, we're going to put that to the test. So, first things first, I'm going to conceal my eyes. I'm going to conceal my eyes. I need to get my mirror. Okay. I think I'm going to use this flat brush to blend out the concealer on my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here at the top as a transition. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's pigmented. I'm just going in lightly, y'all. Wow, they blend so good. Wow, I like this. I see I see the hype now. I see why y'all love this brand. So nice. It's very pigmented. I'm trying to go in lightly, but I kind of went heavy on this one. That's okay. And they went so smooth. They're buttery. They don't, they're not powdery. You know, when you have certain eyeshadows, they're like super powdery. Um, I don't have a lot of fallout when I tap into it which is good. No, you can't even tell, which is good. And I just hate shadows with a lot of fallout. I don't even see nothing under my eyes. Like, I see why y'all love this brand. Like, it is so nice. I'm addicted. I'm gonna have to buy some more eyeshadows. Like, full face of Juvia's Place. Let me know if y'all want a full face of Juvia's Place. Y'all probably do. <laughs> okay, so now, okay, so I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm going to go in with this color and my crease. This is a good crease brush for sure. It's so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the other brush and just blend it out take this color right here and dip a little light just just a tad bit okay now we're going to do the same thing to the other eye okay now we're going to darken it we're going to use all the colors in this palette we're going to darken this just go in with the same brush y'all can see the pigment on camera okay i'm gonna come back with my eyes 
because I need to try this foundation and stuff. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, so I did my shimmer. So I forgot I was gonna test out the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. And try to create a wing. I haven't had gel eyeliner in a minute. So we'll see how this works. It says a sweat proof, waterproof, no smudging. And it said it's pigmented. I'm doing a video. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I probably wouldn't use this with glitter or like with the eyeshadow because I'm going to just fill it in with some my gel. Um, I mean, not gel. My e.l.f. Um, eyeliner because I don't know. It's not really working for me. Not good. Ah, smudging. Okay, I'm getting a little glitter fallout though from the palette. It's not bad, we can just clean it up. Cause we need it. Okay, my wings are uneven, but it's okay. We're gonna pop on some lashes and it's gonna be straight okay okay so i got a thick wing i think i like a thick wing on me like it just makes your eyes like lift it's so pretty all right so now we're just gonna throw on some lashes period okay so look at my lashes i don't know if i want to go dramatic I just leave it simple. Okay, I got my little container. This is ghetto. It's a mint. Okay. Don't judge. Okay. Okay, so I have all my lashes stored in here. I know. I know. You're like, girl, how do you keep up? It's easy. I just keep them together. Hmm, what kind of lashes do I want to wear today? I might just keep it simple. Or do we want to go dramatic? I think we should go a little dramatic. So we are going to go dramatic. These lashes. I'm gonna curl these up a little bit. Put them out curly so they can be flared out. I don't like straight lashes. It just doesn't look right on me too. So we're just gonna curl these lashes up. So we can have that very dramatic effect. <laughs> okay, where is my eye glue? Eyelash glue. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Um, 
um hd liquid coverage foundation it lasts up to 24 hours mattifying second skin effects and i got shade toffee beige right here in 070 and it just has this lightweight non-oily texture that feels like a second skin provides a long lasting full coverage without mask effect and creates an even complexion with high definition finish the camera ready finish for camera ready dermatology dermatology dermatologically i can't even pronounce it right sorry test it and shake before use i always shake my stuff shake before use baby all right so we're applying with a brush so i'm gonna go light and then i need to cover up like this see i got spots that it says it's full coverage so we'll see i'm gonna go lightly It says it blends fast, so I need to hurry up. It dries down fast. So we're gonna hurry up and use our brush, our foundation brush. And I don't think I got my right color. I'm not sure. Cause I saw a review saying that it was reddish. So it's kind of dark. That's okay. They didn't have a lot of shade range. Um, let me look in the mirror. Yeah, it's a little reddish. Maybe I didn't put enough. <laughs> I put like a real tiny bit. On camera, it's a little reddish. Okay, we're gonna apply some more. Oh, snap. It just squirted out everywhere. Okay, we're just gonna... Yeah, it's reddish. Um, I would just mix it with my Wet n Wild foundation because it's hard, it's really hard to get my skin color. So I'll just mix this a little bit with the Wet n Wild Dewy foundation so I can have the satin finish. Okay, I'm glad the makeup did not get on my clothes because that would not be good. I gotta clean my other makeup brushes. So I'm gonna keep on testing out this foundation because I don't believe in first impressions. I feel like you still have to test it out, but it is covering up my blemishes a little bit. <laughs> it did cover them a little bit. I mean, this is still poking out, but that's okay. It's not a bad foundation. I would say it's not for um, dry skin though. You have to really um, um, moisturize, cause that's what I did. It dries really fast. Um, I don't know if it's full coverage to me, but it's buildable for sure. Um, I gotta add a little bit of layers, a little bit more layers. Um, be careful with the pump thing, like if you squeeze it out like this, because it is very messy. So I just dip and just put it on my face like this, touch up. It dries down super fast. So I would say go in layers, go in layers like this. We want a little more coverage on our chin. Uh, I'm gonna try this foundation again. Next thing we're going to use is the concealer. I got it in 060 in Latte Macchiato. And it lasts 12 hours. High coverage concealer, camouflage. Okay. Okay. It really brightens. I really like this concealer. It feels good. It feels like it's cooling. I get like a cool sensation from this concealer. And it's brightening. It feels so good on the skin. It really does. I really like this concealer 
right here. It, it feels so good on skin. It feels like it's hydrating my skin, actually. Okay, so let me find my flat brush. It's really brightening. I like it. Okay. Just trying to really snatch my nose, y'all. Concealer. I forgot to blend out my concealer right there. I think it's dry. Okay, there it go. Okay. Looks good. My nose is kind of messed up, but okay okay now we can do highlight it's like cool warm tones together so cute just the middle Okay, and all right, guys. Um, this is the final makeup look. Okay, so my thoughts. Um, my thoughts on the foundation. Um, it's not my color for one, but it's okay because I have a wet and wild um foundation that is lighter a little bit lighter than my skin tone so i can just mix those two it's a dewy so it'll give me a satin finish because this is really matte um i like this um i like this foundation it's just my brush with the foundation doesn't mix don't don't get a flat brush like what i had um i am i've, I've heard good things about this so i know for a fact it's nice um I just crease a little bit around my mouth, but that's normal. I always crease. The creasing is not that bad, which is really good. Um, what else? I think when it oxidizes, hmm, I think when it oxidizes, is they say it was a little bit darker, but I can't really tell. Let me see. I don't know. I can't really tell. I'm about to do another test run with a different foundation brush because mine were dirty but overall it's a flawless finish it looks just like my skin like i layered it up just to make sure it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't um so the concealer oh my gosh this concealer is so amazing i will highly recommend it i highly recommend it i rem I recommend the foundation and the concealer together they work so good together um this brightens your eyes um it feels so good on the skin it hydrates um what else it doesn't really crease it creases a little bit i feel like all concealers crease but it's not a bad crease you know it's still flawless yes i love this concealer like i will highly recommend the concealer the dual foot is small but it's easier to like really get into those um corners so i highly recommend um the juvia's place palette various palette it is so pretty and i have a pink shirt just to match and it looks really pretty on the eyes it looks so pretty like six shades for $14 is not bad. Um, I feel like it's a very affordable brand. Um, also, I love how pigmented the shadows are. I would say dip lightly, but if you go heavy, it's okay. They're very blended. They're very blendable. You can blend them easily. See? And it doesn't like fade. You know how some eyeshadows they fade when you blend it in? not these are very high pigmented everything they said on this here on the back is so true so i love it okay so this la girl eye liner gel i would not recommend for like a first impression i would not recommend this um it's not as highly pigmented it says it says it's jet black jet but it's supposed to be the darkest black 
it's not that dark my elf liquid eyeliner is way darker but i'm gonna keep on testing this out to see maybe it was my brush i don't know but um yeah i i could pass on this like do i really need it no so um that concludes this makeup look i hope you guys really enjoyed it um i love this look i love pink so it just really makes my skin pop like seriously look with the shirt too it just makes my skin pop um hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys